Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And uh, I've got to do another group of wines here. Hopefully the red and the red and the red isn't too bad right now. Let's make sure the, yeah, that's not hitting it. We had that episode, I don't know, a few, few episodes ago, long episodes ago, where the chain kept hitting the microphone. And that was really annoying. Anyway, um, so let's get started. I got six wines to do, so I'm trying to get them done pretty quick. Uh, it's already almost nine o'clock at night here in San Antonio, so I've got a nice dark set, everything. The background's dark, you don't have all the stuff in the background. Uh, might be doing some green screen eventually. Anyway, I looked into that. It wasn't too expensive. I already have all the lights. I just don't need to uh, um, get all the other stuff. Anyway, uh, looking at doing that and for other stuff. Okay, so let's hop right into this. Um, first one I'm doing here, and I'm kind of doing these in order of what I'm assuming is going to be like lighter to fuller body. Uh, the first one I'm doing tonight is the 2009 Sunny Grunerweltliner uh, from Austria. Um, this is from the Lorenz or Lorenz, uh, Lorenz V or Lorenz 5 um, winery in Austria. And um, Gruner Veltliner or Veltliner, I don't know which one's correct. I think Liner is the correct one, uh, aka Groovy. As uh, I, I was telling uh, a server at Bohannon's uh, the other night when I ordered a glass of Groovy, he was like, "Huh?" Um, is uh, is one of those Austrian grapes that doesn't really, uh, hasn't really made a, a huge splash here in America. Um, a lot of times it, it, it makes, or the wines I, I have either heard of or I've had a few, um, aren't exactly the most inspiring of wines, though I've had, had some good ones recently. Uh, there was a wine tasting at Max's a while back, uh, highlighted uh, some, uh, some groovy and um, they were pretty decent. Uh, the one I had at Bohannon's, can't remember the name of it. Uh, that was really good. Um, by the way, if you are in San Antonio, uh, you're looking for a nice, we're talking nice place to go. Uh, Bohannon's was phenomenal. Um, I wasn't having the $90 steaks, even though it was a nice little presentation that they had, but uh, it still was not a uh, uh, was not a bad experience, a bad meal at all. It was a wonderful meal. All right, so um, anyway, a little bit about this uh, Sunny. Now, um, this was uh, developed by Lawrence and his daughter Sophie. Oh, I'm sorry, Lawrence and his daughter Sophie have invited Anna, Sophie's sister. So um, Lawrence uh, started this winery, I think, in the late 90s, mid to late 90s. Uh, if I remember the about, I'll just go quickly over to the about. Uh, I think it was 96. Uh, anyway, oh, 2005. Where did I get the 96 thing from? I don't know. Anyway, uh, so fairly recent. Um, but he's he uh, his father, I believe had uh, um, was the person that created the trellising system in Austria. So uh, well-known name, his name is Lawrence Moser. I know a Moser. Anyway, um, I wonder if he didn't know he was Austrian. But um, so uh, this area or these, these grapes were, are picked from uh, the wine growing part of the Niederösterreich. I didn't do so bad on that, did I? Uh, the Nieder Österreich is uh, n northwest of Vienna in Austria. Um, my, my knowledge of Austrian wine growing areas isn't the best um, because I don't really I don't really go into it too much. But um, anyway, apparently it's very sunny in that part of Austria, so that's why they named the wine sunny. So. Um, Tell it's a white wine. Well, it's kind of a goldenish color, and um, let's get right into it. Now, um, 
I don't know why I did that of the wine's room temperature. Uh, I drank a bunch of Viognier, uh, Texas Viognier, um, yesterday, finishing up all those bottles that I only had like partials of. Um, and I had chilled all of them, and it did really kind of improve things on that. So, um, as is typical with a lot of white wines with me, um, I'm not getting a whole heck of a lot with the nose. It's, um... I'm getting hints of the citrusy type of stuff. Um, some kind of fruit that I'm not, I can't really put my put my finger on. Um, not a citrus type of fruit. Maybe it's a stone fruit. Anyway, uh, it's something. Can't really tell. Is anyone watching? No one's watching. Hey, um, when I send out tweets and I'm live streaming, stop by. Um, I don't really get much on the nose. Let's get right into the palate. Well, I took too much. Acidic, maybe apple y, pear -y type of, of, of uh, fruits there. Maybe a little floral, but nothing that really just kind of screams at you about, you know, I smell this and I taste this. It's just kind of like it's there. Um, I'm really starting to think I need to make sure that my white wines are chilled because I'm starting to. I'm starting to think that me drinking these wines at room temperature is not giving them the best, um, the best shot of, of uh, reviews because when I do drink white wine, especially when I go out, I'm drinking them chilled anyway. So um, I just kind of get my, the same old generic white wine flavors that, that I tend to get. Um, like I said, uh, Groovy isn't always the most inspiring of wines. It's usually very light. Um, I'm not saying this is a bad wine, I just don't really get much out of it. Again, maybe it's because it's room temperature. But, I don't get much out of it. If I was going to rate it, I'd probably give it like an 82. So, um, not something I'm really inspired by, but again, uh, I might like it later on. I might like it when I uh, chill it a little bit. Um, not sure if I'll drink more of it tonight, but I'll definitely drink more of it later on. All right, so um, 82. I mean, oh, I forgot to tell you how much. It was 5.38 at World Market. Um, this sticker says 5.98 on it, but I paid 5.38 and it's regularly 11.99. So. Um, World Market does that. They'll they'll just not because it's a bad wine, but just so they have wine there for too long, they'll heavily discount it just to move it out so they can bring in new wine. Because they're always bringing in new stuff. They're not they don't have a, the same static uh, um, selection. Well, they have a lot of stuff that never that they always have, but then there's like that they have a group of wines that they're always rotating um, for five bucks. Yeah, you know, chill it. It's gonna be refreshing. Uh, for twelve bucks, I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but um, that's going to do it. All right, so um, we're going to move on to the next one. I just want to thank you for stopping by, checking out the, the video. Um, make sure you stop by the website, and uh, you can friend me up. Uh, you know, check me there. Leave comments down below. Uh, you can hit the donate button to help pay for $12 wine. All right, that's going to do it, and we'll see you again next time.